Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Ellen Paints. This is video 7 in a series of videos about the Wacom tablet properties. In this particular video we're going to talk about the touch ring. Now the touch ring has four options to it and if you look at it on your Wacom tablet you'll see that there are four little lights uh, located like in, in a square around the uh, circle. And whichever light is lit, that's the one that's currently active. Okay, so let's minimize this a minute and see what actually is going on. Okay, so if I click on my touch ring, I'm going to do it a couple of times. Okay, there we go. Now I'm back up to the very first one. Uh, are the first option that we have which is auto scroll and what auto scroll does is it increases or decreases the size of your document now of course we can do that with uh, your touch fingers um, and if you enable the touch uh, function inside of painter then it will enhance this uh, scrolling of your document, uh, getting it larger, zooming in or zooming out, in other words. It enhances it and makes it a lot smoother. But if you remember, I'm trying to keep, I want to try and work with all of the other gestures. So I'm, allow <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be concerned about the fact that when I try to change the document size, I get it jumps in this in the increments. Okay? Alright, so if you punch the button again, the button in the center of the circle of the touch ring, it brings us to cycle layers. Now, if I try to do anything with cycle layers, nothing happens. Um, so, cycle layers is not going to be an option for me. I'm going to leave auto scroll zoom as is for the moment anyway. Um, now, if I come to keystroke and I click down like that and I open it, you'll see that there's alt plus the square bracket key and alt plus the other, uh, the square bracket key looking in the other direction. And that's for cycle layers, but that is not a function inside of Painter. So I'm going to cancel this. Now, before I forget, let me remind you that I'm working inside of Painter now, and I will with all three of these, so that if you wanted to fo you wanted to leave this as is for Photoshop, then it will be that way for you in all others. But right now we're changing it inside of, not inside of Painter, but we're telling the Wacom tablet that if it goes to Painter, then it should... Uh, follow what we set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this uh, alt uh, bracket. I'm going to clear it. And I'm just going to put in one of the brackets. And then I'm going to come down here and clear. And I'll put in the other bracket. And then I will come down here and change this to brush size. Now that is the same, um, the same in, in Photoshop. So uh, we could use two brush sizes if we went to Photoshop, but like I said, I'm, I'm doing this only for Painter. Now I come down here and I have keystroke, brush size, and I'm just going to leave that as is. So let's minimize again. All right, so I've got brush size, and if I bring up a brush, then you can see that the size is being um, changed. Now, if, if perchance you try to, to rotate and nothing happens on any of these, it's because the document window has lost focus. You know, when I go back and forth to um, the Wacom tablet view, then we lose focus on this uh, document. So if it doesn't work, just click up here in the blue area, and that will make the document uh, in focus. And then if we go to the last one, which is rotate, <clears throat> and rotate does that. It just goes round and round. 
And again, it's not quite as nice as uh, the the way it is enhanced inside of Painter. Now let's come back up here and look at these again. We have the option to slow down the movement of these two, and I, of any of them, and I believe that it's best to slow down the movement of auto scroll zoom and to slow down the movement of rotate. Now let's look and see how that has affected it. Okay, so we're on auto scroll and notice see it's it's much slower i'm having to go around the document multiple times to get it to move and that's that's good that's a a, a real good thing i think now remember if you enable touch features in painter you can do this in painter uh using your touch fe features and it will be much 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 smoother. Now let's go to uh, back to rotate after we made it slower and see that's much a much better speed. So that's where I would leave uh, the touch ring. I would have auto scroll and slow it down. I would have brush size, brush size, and I don't need to slow these down. Oh, let's move that one back up. That was slowed because that's the way cycle through layers was set. So rotate and uh, auto scroll and rotate would be slow, and then the other two set up for brush size at medium. All righty, that's it for this one. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.